What's good? Hey guys, it's Becca and Mike here. Yep. And a few days ago, one of our friends posted a video talking about why she went vegan. And it inspired me to make a video about why we went vegan because it's been a while now. Six years. And I don't think our family even gets why we went vegan yet. So yeah. um, here's a little video to just like inform you guys. And it basically started on our second date because we went to a Miami Heat game and at the game I went to the concession stand and I got a chicken sandwich <laughs> and I asked Meech if he wanted a chicken sandwich and he told me nah. I said no I'm vegetarian you kind of looked at me like what is that? Yeah I did I was kind of like uh. Have you ever met somebody that was vegetarian before? Not that I never like spoke to anybody about being like about vegetarianism mm. before this like I probably had heard about it, but at that time, dude, like, there was no, like, places didn't have vegan options, mm -hmm. uh, uh, or was, vegetarian options, let yeah. alone vegan options, you know, there was no Gardein, there was no Follow Your Heart, there was no Daya, there was no and it wasn't So trendy Delicious, in and it, it wasn't a trend, veganism is now a trend, and it wasn't before, so I really yeah. didn't know much about it, and you basically just told me how it, how you... How I felt afterwards after I did it, mm -hmm. and then also like what the animals go through and stuff like that. Like that was a whole other side that I didn't even know about. And then that's what actually kind of made you go yeah. vegetarian. Yeah, like the person that showed me veganism wasn't even a vegan himself. He actually was a super meat eater, right? Mm -hmm. His name yeah. was Aslan Allen. Shout out to Aslan Allen. Aslan, Allen out there. title K boxing. Yep, days. back in the day. Yeah. And he he was making some ground beef one day, and I was saying to him. I, Man, if we eat meat every day, we're going to get swole, right? And he was like, yeah, but man, you know, there's a lot that goes into this meat stuff. Like, you should see what these animals go through. And you kind of support a messed up industry out there. And I was like, messed up industry? Like, yeah. what industry? Like, what animals? What's going What exactly is going on with these animals? Yeah, because and it's then, not everyday conversations where you talk yeah. about slaughterhouses with people and like... And people just eat their food and just, it, to them it's just an ingredient. It's yeah. chickens like an ingredient. Yeah. So like they don't really like people don't really process exactly how that chicken got there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he was my trainer at the time. So and I had just been getting into health, fitness. I was meal prepping. I was on a meal plan at the time. Mm -hmm. Like so I was like, "Oh, I'll try this out. This is a it's a new a new way of dieting kind of to me is what I thought. Like, let me give it a try. Let me experiment with it." And within a few weeks, like I felt so within a few days I felt awesome but like a yeah. few weeks went by and I was just like loving it I didn't miss meat or anything like that and we like dove hard into it and uh then we went on a road trip and to see my family in New Jersey and on the road trip we saw like tons of animals being transported to the slaughterhouse in those semi trucks with the little holes in there and there's like tons of them going by and then one time we were driving and she looks over and she's like, ah, and I'm like, yeah, that's the reality of what those cows go through. And there's a cow actually right by the driver's side window, staring right into the car, right at you. Into my eyes. And yeah, I crazy. could see the pain in that animal's eyes. Of course, there's like poop coming out of the holes. Yeah, it was two layers. So there was cows on top of other cows mm -hmm. and they were like defecating on the cows below. And I cried it brought tears to my eyes i was like because we i had just started learning about all this and then here i am and it's like in my face and it's like look at look at it now so it you cried it i cried and yeah. i was like it was like a what? moment it was like a moment where we you cried and then i kind of i i definitely cried <laughs> and i was like i was like yo like this is the reality <laughs> This is the reality. <laughs> and she was like, it is. Let's go, baby. All right, we're going. So, like, Full blast. that road trip, when we got to Jersey, like, we were vegans in yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, we changed that moment, like, yeah. cold turkey. Like, not cold turkey for me, because I went vegetarian. But it was all pretty much, I only and was you, vegetarian like, for, like, like, a few a weeks. Yeah, yeah, like, so. So, yeah, we both kind of just cold turkey did. But, like, nothing happened. Like, if anything, like, it was all benefits. Oh, yeah, it was sure. great, because, you know, I... I Took the chicken off my plate, the baked boring yeah. chicken, and I filled it with vegetables that I've never tried before. Um, I started making smoothies. Now I'm like a smoothie connoisseur, like yeah. all day, every day smoothies. 
and it really changed my whole entire life. And for protein, like you would make rice with lentils and garbanzo beans and all kinds of different kinds of beans and leafy greens and you got all the protein in the world that you needed right there. You didn't even need to have any meat on the plate. Of course not. But anyway, so... <laughs> No, but anyway, yeah, so like, I, yeah, I just started, I, yeah, I started adding beans, you're right, yeah. and like legumes and, and grains and quinoas and, you know, uh, it worked out and I felt really good. I really feel like that uh, everything you do kind of puts you on a path and um, I don't think I'd be here today if, if we didn't decide to go vegan, honestly. I don't think I'd be where I was. I probably, you know, it really like... The energy levels went through the roof, so it really sparked our yeah. uh, like my my like fitness journey or whatever. Because I noticed, it. I noticed it like when I would do my workouts. If I drank like whey protein and had chicken and all kinds of different things like that, that I would be going into the gym kind of feeling bloated already, and that, like you don't want to feel bloated when you go to the gym. Yeah. And then like when I started going vegan and stuff, and I had mainly a liquid diet in the morning. You feel so light. And I just felt lighter. I had more energy. I was just quicker. Like I was doing a lot hydrated. of boxing. Hydrated. You're usually way more hydrated. Yeah. And at that time, I was doing a lot of boxing, so I was doing a lot of cardiovascular mm. exercises, and I was flying. I was doing rounds on top of rounds. Yeah. Like, uh, 10 times stronger than I was. Yeah. It, 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 I struggled with um, some acne, and my face cleared up when I cut out the dairy. Um, Michael had some skin issues, and they really went down. Um, it was really, really amazing, everything that came with just changing to a plant-based diet. And you do have to relearn things. You have to relearn how to cook. You have to relearn how to food shop. You have to, I mean, because most people buy a lot of products that contain dairy or egg or whatever. And they hide it in there. A lot of things that are in boxes nowadays or packaged. If you look at the ingredients, most things have meat or have dairy in it. Yeah. And so like <laughs> all you, all you got to do really is just be patient. Like you just got to take a step back, grab the box or the package or whatever, look at it, read the ingredients. And if you can't pronounce the ingredients or if it says may contain dairy and stuff, then just drop it and just look for the alternative because there's always an alternative, especially nowadays. Yeah, right? but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even suggest that. I would say drop all the processed shit and just buy yourself some dairy. Yeah, but if you vegetables. were. Well, especially when you're starting though. People yeah, if you need like a transition. Some people need a transition period. Yeah. And now, if you do need a transition period, like I said, when we went vegan, there there were no options for yeah. alternatives. Yeah. Like, like almond milk was probably the one, and there was only a few brands, like, and only like a few places carried it. Like, yeah, now there's now, all kinds. Now there's alternative, um, like meat products. There's alternative yep. cheeses. There's alternative ice creams. There's alternative everything. There's Candy, cakes, and everything. Yeah. So like, although I don't suggest these things. If you're going through your transition period, I have had people say that they have used these things to help them. And, um, you know. But, like, like you really don't need it. Like, your taste we, buds change so quick. When we first it started, is. like, it was all mainly for health purposes. So, like, we didn't even want to eat junk food stuff anyways. Yeah, processed and things And so, when anyway. we started, yeah, yeah. it was just, like, right into the fruits and vegetables, right? A Whole lot of fruit. Plant-based Like, foods. a lot of fruit. Like, you got to eat fruit. Like, that's the food. That's what you need to fill your body with. And then... We were feeling our bodies with like real plant-based whole foods and that made like the best difference. And we experimented yeah. with all kinds of different things, but if you just keep it simple and you don't have to read the ingredients because it's real food, you don't have anything to worry about. You're good about. to go. But anyway. Um, Be patient, take your time. Yeah, you know, and if it, uh, I mean, that's what we did. We're not saying you have to go vegan, but people always ask why I'm vegan. I guess technically, it was it originated for the animals because that cow broke my heart um and i was like shit i don't need that I, i'm not gonna do that and and then all of the benefits it gave me is why i continued mm -hmm. because i i feel like it's done nothing but bring good things to my life and just inform yourself look out there there's a lot of information out there that you can read yeah. there's a lot of videos that you can see and then if you want to know what's really going on just inform yourself and just do the do what you need to do to make the difference 
and you gotta make the change. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, anyway, thanks for watching. And, you know, we're gonna start making more YouTube videos now. This one was super long because it was our first one. And if you wanna see anything specific, let us know. Um, yeah, I hope you like and subscribe and continue to watch as we start our YouTube journey. Thank you. Oh.